I didn't I didn't understand his reasoning. And when he asked, like, so you don't accept any blame for this? I said, no. And maybe there's something to the idea that maybe, you know, uh, my thing is always, why don't they fucking call me? Well, maybe I should call them. Maybe I should pick up the phone, call them and have a conversation with the salespeople. Now, that's never going to happen. But that's that's my fault. I was asleep. I got a text uh, on my and I looked over at my phone and it said it was from Portnoy and it said, uh, you know, call me. We need to talk. And I just assumed that it was the Minifan somehow spoofing his number because I've gotten calls at midnight from like John Dennis's number. I get calls from wild, wild numbers. So I just assumed somebody was fucking around. I'm like, I'm not on the off chance that I'm being fucked with here. I'm not going to call Portnoy at 1030 at night. Right. And so I texted him in the morning and I said, hey, is this is this actually real? Do you need to talk? And he said, yeah. And so he called me. And uh, he's he's pissed at me for uh, Friday for basically the first 20 minutes of the show. And he's laying at my feet uh, the entire thing with trying to disrupt that conference. So he's saying uh, his issue with with me was printing off that email and putting it on your desk. Right. He's so, basically saying that I, I should take blame for that. So Steve calls me and he's like, I think I'm going to get fired. I'm like, what the fuck is going I was like, how is this possible? We haven't done anything in the past 20. We haven't even done a show, nothing. So as Steve's talking to me, Dave calls in. He's like, I'm going to fire Steve. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? It's just that. And his point was, you know, that's something that'd be potentially damaging the bar. So why put it in front of me? He knows I'm going to react to it. Da da da. And then he said, Steve said he would do it again. Dave framed it as, would you be willing to hurt Barstool? And Steve said, I, I would do it again in a second, which was not exactly the back and forth. I get what Dave's saying. I actually get what he's saying. But my point to him was like, well, this is kind of what we do. We talk about stuff. And, you know, it's the Kirk Minahan show. I, I it's, it's still my show, ultimately, my call. And he's, I mean, he just, the bottom line, and, you know, I'm not firing him, of course, but the, the bottom line is, you know, like, he fucking hates Steve. He, the only way he likes is me. I mean, right. I no. I, I still, he just he just wants, he hates you, but he wants to not hate you. So he transfers his hate <laughs> on Mike and I. I don't think he, I actually don't think he hates me. I don't think, I, I really don't. We get along great. Like, I talk to him against, like, we get along, I think, I frustrate him, but I really don't think it's hate. I think he's, you know, I think he's frustrated, but I don't know what, this is what he, this is what he brought in. This is what he knew he was I'm confused though. Where did he think you got the code before? What do you mean? He he knew you had the code, right? He, oh, Four days thought, ago. He knew that Friday. He thought maybe, oh, yeah, maybe yeah, the yeah, email so. was sent to him. I don't know. He, he obviously had some time to, to ruminate on it, but um, my point to him, which I didn't get to make because he hung up on me was like, if I print off something with the N word written on it and like a tweet from say K Marco, and I set that on the desk and Kirk reads that on a live YouTube stream. Like, am, am I to blame for that? Like, so do I need to, do I need to not put anything in front of you that you could get in trouble with? I, I, I just it didn't, I didn't, I didn't understand his reasoning. And when he asked like, so you don't accept any blame for this? I said, no. And he's, yeah, then he hung up on me. No, it's kind of Steve's job. Well, to decide. Where, did you, where did you leave when you called him back, though? Uh, well, I called him back and I just said, hey, you know, I understand what you're saying. Like, we won't do anything to damage Barstool. And he said, oh, fuck you. You're just doing that because Kirk told you to, which was not incorrect. Uh, but then he uh, said, good talk and hung up. No, but I do understand. What, I do understand his, his larger point, but I think it's more an issue about me, not you. Like, I do get what he's saying. Like, the thing was, but like, we owned it. I was like, that's fucking stupid. It'll never happen again. Like, that's not Steve's fault. That's my fault. But. I get what he's also saying. He's like, well, can I trust this guy? And I was like, you could trust him. It's not going to happen again. And I don't think it would happen again. And I think you agree with that, Steve. And that's kind of. Well, yeah, no, I don't think it's going to happen different. again. I mean, on, honestly, if it, we, the one of the problems is that we were live on YouTube. So it was kind of like there's no going back now. In yeah, retrospect. We, we would have taken that on. off of the yeah. uh, show if we weren't on YouTube. I think we I mean, would probably. I think we do shit like that all the time. Yeah. I think that's what got us in trouble. Which is our fault. I mean, it's my fault, which is the show. I mean, it's my show. So, but I do think. You know, uh, like it's going to be something else in a couple of days versus, you know, a few months ago, it was every two or three months. Now I just feel like it's going to be every two or three days. The, 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 the hounds are out there. They, they're smelling it. So they're, they're trying to go for the kill. So, well, it did seem like nitpicky. It seemed like he, it seemed like he was having an issue with me because he wanted to have an issue with me. Well, I think he was, yeah, but I think he probably had thought about it, woke up on a like, Tuesday. But it, it, to his credit, when I talked to him, he's like, he's like, I should have done it Friday, I should have done it Saturday. He's like, it just bothered me today, so I went and did it. But, boy, you know, I don't know. So, I mean, I feel like we're in no, no better place than we were on Friday with these guys. Which yeah, it's, a, it's a weird spot because, like, I was tweeting about the Bubba Wallace thing. And before I tweet shit out now, I think, like, ah, are they going to see this and think it's 
racist and have an excuse to fire me or something. Like, I'm nervous about that type of shit now where I wasn't before, really. Yeah, I mean, I'm not that. I mean, whatever happens, happens. I'm not that worried about it. I mean, if they fire us, they fire us. It's, I mean, this, it happens. People get fired all the time. I just think, you know, I just think it's too bad. You know, mistakes have been made on both sides for sure. But it seems like, it seems like more than anything, Friday, even with the Erica stuff, it just feels like we've crossed a bridge that I don't, I don't think there's probably any coming back. But then Dave and I talking, it's like a great conversation. So, you know, I don't know. Like we had a really after the rundown, I called him up and I was like, "Are we really?" Because I was just curious. But I didn't care about the LA thing. She makes more money than we do. I don't care. Uh, their show, but I was like, "Are we really losing money with the Wilbur?" And then we talked about the business. We talked about you know, truthfully, it's 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 more. I think the Barstool salespeople, we're probably third or fourth in line for that male, 35, 40 year old guy. I think in the at Barstool, we're behind. Uh, for the sales department, we're behind. Part of my take, obviously, we're behind KFC, obviously, and I think sometimes we're behind Spit and Chicklets, so we're behind the golf stuff, and we're just one of those other shows that does pretty well, but is kind of, you know, that same in their mind going at the same audience. I don't yeah. think that's true, and and maybe there's something to the idea that maybe you know uh, my thing is always why don't they fucking call me? Well, maybe I should call them. Maybe I should pick up the phone, call them, and have a conversation with the salespeople. Now that's never going to happen, but that's that's my fault maybe to some extent too. Maybe I haven't reached out as much too. The only thing, the, like all that stuff I think is all worthy of discussion, all worthy of talking about my mistakes in it, their mistakes in it, all that. The only thing is for me, that's, that's not even two things that aren't even arguable is K Marco and the way the men of fans have been treated. To me, those are the only things that are off the table. They have fucked up. Don't even want to have a conversation about it. everything else along the way. I'm willing to say, Hey, I'm sure I played some role in it. I'm sure I, 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 I have, you know, extended that, that, that there or, or pushed away. Cause I can do that, but you know, but they'll never hear this part. They'll always hear the fucking, but that's, but that's also okay too. I, you know, what can you do?